and on a glorious high felt winter's day a huge crowd packed into the Swatkop circuit for the first round of the Stanek Group N South African Championship saloon car racing. And what an afternoon it's going to be. The entry was so big with all the coastal and inland drivers getting together that the classes had to be split into three separate races. And one of the very competitive ones of the day were classes D and E, that's for 1600cc and 1300cc cars. They went away, led by the inland champion in the Ford Laser, that's Neil Brink, an engineer from Sampro. But pushing him all the way is Ben Morgan. And you can see this is what Stanley Group N racing is all about. You get those bumpers right in behind the man, there's no, no space on the road. For anybody else, you keep it as wide as possible. You can see Clive Rice in there. He's got Garth LaRue, the two famous cricketers, are in that field as well. As they come out of Bozal, Ben Morganrood is starting to really put the pressure on Neil Brink. But he was ready for him. He wasn't going to relent one little bit as he came through Autocup and headed up the Michelin Strait past the line. Behind them, there was Brian Gilmore for Cape Town, out for the first time in a Mazda. Out here in the Transvaal, there was John Craig, the coastal Group N champion. And there was also Keith Agliotti come th coming through that first corner and going into Conti Corner. This is the tricky one. The heavy brakes, the line now almost takes you across the curb as he tightens the line and you just don't give in here. He has to take to the dirt. Agliotti and inside him, he's got uh, Brian Gilmore, the Cape Tonian. And back into the car with Russell Wood as he goes into his final two of the men. He wants his Graham Blankfield ahead of him and in between them is Des Ag Agliotti in the little Ford Laser. And Russell Wood having a very good run. The lap time's very close to record laps. But the pressure's up the front there as uh, Neil Brink has Ben Morgan Root starting to lean him. And luckily, the mirrors in these cars are spung loaded, as you can see them rubbing mirrors there. But he's not giving into the pressure at all. A strong heart gets him to the line first. And Gilmore starts to make a move for the line. As he comes past Morgan Root and takes Morgan Root by surprise with John Craig coming through in fourth position. But the overall results for the day there, it is a very good uh, double win there for Neil Brink in the Motocraft Laser, ahead of Morgan Root, Brian Gilmore from Cape Town, and John Craig, the Coastal Champion. And in Class E, Graham Blankfield pulled it off against Russell Wood in the Delta Cub, Jaffa in the Toyota, and then it was John Kruger in another Toyota. And if you think that was close, let's have a look at the second race for the 1800cc cars in Class C. As away they go, down the Michelin Strait, Mike White, the winner, is alongside you as we're in with Leon Maria going to the first corner and heading for the bumping and barging around Continental Corner. White takes the lead, Maria in the inside, Neil Stevens in the Opel Cadet right behind him. That's uh, Leon Maria goes over the dirt, look at those inside back wheels getting there, he gets a nudge from Stevens, Rodney Tim's in the pack there, White goes back to third position, Tim is in there, Mike O'Sullivan is pushing his way through in one of the older RSIs, the black uh, Autocoup Toyota as they go down the straight. Leon Marie in the front, Rodney Tim on the far side, Neil Stevens, and the sandwich in the middle there is Mike White having a hard time of it. Behind him he's got Damzu. Mike O'Sullivan coming up the side. Wyndham's there from Cape Town. They go down through the citizen sweep. This is a tricky one. They don't lift there at all. Just a touch of the brakes. They keep it going flat out through this corner as they go up Champion Hill to Bozal. And it's Leon Marie getting away from them. Neil Stevens in there getting the opal sideways. Then it's Rodney Tim. And Mike White fighting for his position. Behind him, he's got Serge Danzu and Leon Marais. And 46 in there is Steve Wyndham from Cape Town, one of the real talented drivers from Cape Town who does racing and rallying. You can't get it close in this. Line abreast as they go into that first corner down the Michelin Strait. It's Leon Marais in the front. Stevens. And look at all the damage on the door there of Serge Danzu's car as he gets himself into third position. White gets pushed back another position there. Rodney Tim does his nudging bit. Then it's Mike O'Sullivan, then it's Wyndham as they go away down Altamore. And it is Leon Maria leading them all, Neil Stevens making plans to get through and taking on the whole Toyota team in that older model. There is Mike O'Sullivan. But up at the front, it's Neil Stevens charging for the, for the front and he's got him on the outside. He takes Leon Maria, but a suicide driving down through Citizen with the inside back wheel lifting off the ground as he goes up the Champion Hill to Bozal. It's a dab when it breaks down a gear. Neil Stevens from the coast is in the front there ahead of Leon Maria. And Mike O'Sullivan in a little black Toyota has taken on the works team and is coming home in second position as he makes his way along Michelin to the flag ahead of Leon Maria and Serge Dams who was Rodney Tim coming in just behind him. And lots of waving to the crowd from this uh, Port Elizabeth driver, Neil Stevens, first time at uh, Swatcorps 
winning there in the Opel Cadet ahead of Sullivan and Leon Marais in the Toyotas. And here's the race that brought record crowds to the Swatkorps Raceway. It's the Class A's and B's running together and it's the debut of the Opel Cadet 16 valves. There's Roddy Turner just behind him. You see Willie Hepburn in the Rudapur Delta 16 valve Opel Cadet and the Danger Men behind them, Peter Lance in the Super Quick BM and Tony Viana in the Winfield BMW. So in with Willie Hepburn going away. Michael Briggs, a very good start on the right-hand side of the road. Looking back from Goddard's car, here comes Nick Duval. Alongside him, he's got Farouk. Uh, Danga and he gets pushed to the side as he goes into Continental Corner and it's Mayhem there, he gets his onto two wheels and around the corner Briggs getting a nice clean start as we go back in again there with Willie Hepburn and head off down Ultimoyle Strait and here they start to hit up speeds of 210, 215 kilometres an hour and fresh from record breaking where they averaged 204 kilometres an hour for 24 hours, these little cars are certainly rockets as they go down the hill, a nice shot of them going down there, and Roddy Turner going on the inside of Willie Hepburn. You see him coming through on the inside, going through Citizen, and making his way up Champion Hill, up to Bozal Corner. You can see how easily it gets sideways. Willie's going from the inside. He's got him. Has he? No, Roddy Turner's got the better berth as they go down to Auto Cup just behind them. Tony Vion in the Winfield BMW. Then there's Toby Fenter of Porsche fame. He comes from Western area. Roddy Turner through the inside on Auto Cup Corner, and he's got himself a second position there. And Vion is coming up on the right-hand side. There he is now. He's well positioned for this right-hand corner as he goes to Conti. Can Willie do anything about it? Vion is tight into that corner. The classic line is across the dirt where they're using it right now. W Willie keeps it in tight, so does Vion. They can't take him on the inside. Ronnie Turner takes the classic line around the outside. And Briggs, you can see him vanishing away in the distance there. But Willie Hepburn's troubles weren't over yet. As coming up to challenge him from Western Era, Toby Fender taking him on the inside. That's the way to go passing as you go down through Citizen. He has to give way to him. Peter Lance is coming up behind him as they go up to Champion Hill. You can see we're looking from uh, Hepburn's car. There's Fenter head down a gear. Takes a tight line, makes his car nice and wide. There's no place to pass him, no place to challenge. He's just got to keep him there nice and tight. He's got Lance just behind him, looking in the mirror every now and again. It's flat out there through Porter Cook's corner onto the uh, Michelin straight. And you see that he used all the road as they come up to start another lap. And they're down Michelin, going into that first corner. He's got the better line there as he goes through in the inside. Is he going to be able to do it? He heads for the corner. He's done it. He goes straight across there. And that is the classic line now. But he tightens it as he comes through and then goes on the way out not to allow him to come through in the inside. And he's working that gear change very, very quickly in that Rudaport uh, Opal 16 valve. Down Altamoyle again they go. Hip burns back in front there with Fenter challenging and uh, Peter Lance coming up in the super quick BMW. Fenter's going for it again. There he goes through on the inside. As he comes down under the screen, up the Champion Hill, watch him just touch the brakes. He goes down the gear. There's the brakes on. A touch. Gets it sideways through that corner. Willie Hepburn's in the middle. There's Peter Lance not too far behind him in that shadow line BMW. And a great win there for Michael Briggs to the thrill of the whole Delta organization that came out to see the debut of this motor car. We go back to the other ones. And Toby Fenter's got as he comes to the line ahead of Willie Hepburn and Peter Lance just behind them in the BMW. And he almost stopped in front of them to give him an extra cheer and an extra thrill. That was the debut of that motor car with Michael Briggs winning that first race. And a very good win also for Martinez Brias from Pretoria in the Dyke or Construction. Volkswagen beating all comers in class. The two factory Opals go away from the line. Tony Viana squeezes in between them. Roddy Turner once again gets a bad start. Michael Briggs on the right-hand side. We're in with Willie Hepburn. And looking back from Viana's car, there's Hepburn right on his tail as we go into Continental Corner. And in Class B, it's also a very heavy battle going on. It's, there's hardly any room for all the traffic. As Terry Moss goes into the back of Hannes Oersthuizen from the Western Province in his BMW, and you can see the bonnet has come up on the right-hand side of Terry Moss's car. As the field streams through, bumping and barging their way. 22 is Alan Jones from Port Elizabeth as well. And we're in with Willie Hepburn. He's trying to take uh, Tony Viana down that Altamore straight, a touch of the brakes as they're going to Citizen. But Viana's got the inside berth, holds his line through there, and he keeps it very nice and tight out under the screen, up the Champion Hill, dabs the brakes as he goes through and is able to hold onto that position, and he keeps it very tight. But Michael Briggs getting away from Viana, and the big battle once again is Roddy Turner in the middle, Willie Hepburn on the other side. As you see Turner going through on the inside, and just behind them, they've got Toby Fenton. They've strung together up Champion Hill. He wants to get a clearer view of things. There's Willie Hepburn. 
taking a nice tight line again goes Turner remember that bent is right in there behind Hepburn as they head down the hill towards Autocoop and this is full ball motoring no tapping oh he touches the brakes as he goes through and lines up maybe just to put Willie Hepburn off into Mitchell and pulling up the hill behind them they've got Peter Lance there's Nick Duval right in the hunt there with the Class A motor cars as they come through this first corner and they're going for Conti and Fent is going for it he goes through in the inside and he just about makes it as he goes through he loses it through there Willie Hepburn gives him room he reverses off the circuit Nick Duval comes through so does Farouk Danga now watching it back from Tony Viana's car Hepburn goes wide on the other side as Fenter loses it and goes off the track onto the slip road Roddy Turner's right in there behind Tony Viana well you've seen it from all views there as this hot battle goes on on this tricky two kilometers of circuit you just see it full stretch these new Opals and BMWs hard at work on this circuit. But trouble for Viana. Here comes Roddy Turn. He's got the speed down this long Ultimoil straight to take him, but Viana's got that title line. He's a man never to be underestimated. He's had too many victories and championships under his belt, but Turner's going for it on the inside. He's found a gap and he's gone for it, and Viana has got the disadvantage line here as Turner goes through in the inside of order to be goes through, takes it, and he's now a car length ahead of him. Behind there, you can see Willie Hepburn with Peter Lance moving in as they come along Michelin. And we're back in there with uh, Terry Moss. Look at the right-hand wing of his car as he goes through on the inside of um, of uh, Michele Lupini and the other two-litre Opel. He's from Delta City as he goes down the hill. And more traffic comes through. Hannes Oersteisen comes through on a spoiling line there, just takes the ball on the inside. What driving? We're going to see this type of racing all over the country. Another BMW comes down past the Michelin straight as Terry Moss just gathers his wits about him as they come now into uh, Conti Corner and the steam starting to come up from under the bonnet there. Onto Michele Lupini's tail once again. Ahead of them they got Hannes Oersthuizen, fine driver from the Cape. He won the Coastal Championship for Class A motor cars, but he's having a hard time it here at Swatkorp today. And there's the winner for the day, the overall winner. Two fine wins, a record lap. And just adding to the launch of this motor car, record-breaking Michael Briggs wins the first round of the Stanic Group N Class A uh, races. Tony Vion, a very good performance in the BMW. Certainly going to be a danger man around the country. And here's the steam kettle coming into the pits there. Martinez Breers, we said that Dicor Construction, Volkswagen Golf, put it across all of them. And the works uh, Opel of Nick Duval with John Round, the Cape Tonian, coming home in third position.